Hello friends, in this session we will see the explanation of main method in Java program. I have seen so many people who are either in Java learning phase and preparing for interviews or even some people who are working in Java platform are unaware of this basic understanding of Java main method signature. So the purpose of this video is to help you understand all in and outs of the Java main method. So let us start by seeing the signature or prototype of main method which looks like this. And because Java is an object oriented language and so main method is always written inside class. And so the fully executable Java class with main method looks like this. So friends here the first three words in the method signature are the Java keywords. The first one is public which is a keyword and is an access modifier which specifies from where and who can access this method. And because the main method is public and so it means that this method can be called from anywhere and JVM or Java virtual machine can call it from outside this class. The second keyword is static and is used so that the main method can be accessed directly by class name instead of creating object of main class. The third keyword is void and it signifies that main method does not return any value. Now the identifier main is a name which is configured and is used by JVM to call the main method. And then we have the string array as an argument to the main method and the values to this string array can be passed while we run the main class using the Java command. So the command to run the main method without passing the string array arguments is Java and then the class name like this and the command to run the main method by passing the string array arguments is Java and then the class name and then the list of arguments. Now let us understand all this by taking an example. So let us suppose we have two classes. One is main class like this and other one is demo class like this. So we can see here that there is one method in demo class with name greetings. And now to call or execute this greetings method from main class, we have to create object of demo class like this. And then we need to call the greetings method from demo class object. So likewise friends, the way we call greetings method from the demo class in a similar way, Java virtual machine or JVM searches and calls the main method whenever any Java program or Java project is executed. So you can think or imagine of code like this getting executed by JVM whenever we run the Java main class. And now because the main method is called by JVM and so the prototype or signature of the main method can't be changed according to our needs. But we can do some changes like interchanging the public and static keyword positions and declaring the string array in different formats which are allowed by Java. For example, the below signatures of main method are the valid ones, wherein the first one is default signature of main method. In the second example, we have changed the string array identifier from ARGS to arguments. In the third example, we have interchanged the positions of static and public keywords. Fourth and fifth examples are related to different allowed ways of declaration of array in Java. And the sixth one is again allowed way of replacing the array with the where arg arguments. And now let us also see the common mistakes done by Java beginners regarding the main method signatures. And so these are some of the examples of invalid declaration of main method. Where in the first example the capital M is used in the main identifier. In the second example the return type is mentioned instead of void. In the third example, the access modifier is changed to private and in the fourth example, the string is passed as an argument instead of a string array. Now friends, in addition to default three keywords, Java also allows optional three keywords that is final synchronized and strict FP keyword as a part of main method signature. And so the below main method signature is also valid but not of much use. Here the final keyword indicates that the main method cannot be overridden by subclass. The synchronized keyword indicates that no two threads can access the main method simultaneously. And strict FP is a keyword which is introduced in Java 1.2 to restrict the precision and rounding of floating point calculations. So friends, this is particularly an interview question 
where an interviewer can ask you what are the keywords other than public, static and void which are allowed in Java main method signature and so your answer should be final, synchronized and strict FB are the optional keywords which can also be used as a part of Java main method signature. And now before leaving let us quickly execute one Java main class. So let me go to my editor and here let me tell you that this is an edit plus editor. It is same like notepad or notepad plus plus but in addition it gives various extra features like for example here we can see it gives the different purposeful colors to different parts of the Java program. Like it displays all the Java keywords in blue color, all the predefined Java classes in red color and so on. So if you want you can also try this tool. The link to download will be provided in the video description. And now coming to the program. So here we have a very simple Java class with name main class. And then the body of main method is printing two messages. One at the beginning and other at the end of main method execution. And in between we are just printing the command line arguments which will be passed when we execute this class using Java command. So let us go to the command prompt. And here we are at the Java file location which is f colon Java in my case. And so now let us compile and run our Java class. So Java C and then the Java file name is the command to compile any Java class. And now let us run the compiled Java class using Java command. So Java and then the class name which is main class in our case. And with this here we can see the output of main method execution. And now let us also execute the main method by passing the command line arguments. So Java main class and then some of the string arguments. And with this here we can see the output of this main method execution. So friends hope you learned something new from this video. If yes then request you to like and subscribe. And also let us know which topic you want to see in the next video. Okay then see you in the next session till then take care tata bye bye.